Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab. In this lecture, we are going to learn how do we configure NetFlow on our vSphere distributed switch. Now before we go and start configuring NetFlow on our vSphere distributed switch, let's understand what is NetFlow. NetFlow is a network protocol that was originally developed by Cisco to analyze network traffic. NetFlow analyzes packets that are sent over the network and group them into flows. And these flows are exported to a centralized entity called NetFlow collector for further analysis and monitoring. In vSphere environment, NetFlow gets really important whenever we want to have a complete visibility of our network traffic between our virtual machines in vSphere environment. So now let's get started with our NetFlow configuration. So as you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local and if you do see that our vCenter server is running a version 7.0. Now let's go and browse our vCenter server. Within that vCenter server we do see a data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. Within that data center, we do see a cluster created named as SA cluster. Let's go and browse our cluster. And within that cluster, we do see that there are three ESXi hosts added to our cluster and there are a bunch of VMs which are running on that cluster. Now, before we go and start configuring NetFlow on our vSphere distributed switch, let's have a quick review of our distributed switch configuration. So click on networking icon. Click here to browse the data center and that's where we do see a distributed switch created named as VDS site A. Now let's go and browse our distributed switch and we do see that there are bunch of port groups which are created on our distributed switch. Now if you do see that all these three port groups management network, VM network and vMotion network port group are distributed port group whereas the last port group what do you see that that's our well-defined DV uplink port group. Now, if you click on the distributed switch, you click on the summary. In the switch details, you do see that there are three ESXi hosts which are added to this distributed switch and there are seven virtual machines which are currently connected to this distributed switch and there are total 30 number of distributed ports available on this distributed switch. Now, if you want to get more details about the host virtual machines, then click on the host that's where you will see that all of these three ESXi host is added to our distributed switch. If you click on VMs and you will see that all of the virtual machines connected to the distributed switch. Now click on the networks and that's where you will see that these are distributed port groups which are created on our distributed switch. And if you do see that currently there are seven virtual machines which are connected to DVPG VM network port group. Now click on uplink port group and that's where you will see that this is our DV uplink port group and this particular port group is consuming six ports. Now if you want to get more details about the ports, click on the port section of distributed switch and it would give us a lot of elaborative information about every single port of that distributed switch and you can get the information about which entity is consuming which port of that distributed switch. For example, if I click on that port number 0, it clearly tells us that port number 0 of our distributed switch is currently consumed by NetServer VM and that is the MAC address of that network adapter. Similarly, if you click on port 20, you will see that the port 20 of distributed switch is currently consumed by VMK1 adapter of SA ESXi 02 host and that is the MAC address of that VM kernel adapter. So that's what it's all about our distributed switch configuration. Now this is the time for us to go and configure NetFlow on our vSphere distributed switch. But before configuring NetFlow, let's look at our virtual machines which traffic we would like to get analyzed. So let's go back to host and clusters view and we are going to refer virtual machines prod vm01 prod vm02 and test vm02 for our netflow exercise so let's click on prod vm01 and we do see that this prod vm01 is running on saesxi01 host let's click on prod vm02 
and we do see that the prod VM02 is also running on SAESXI01, which means that prod VM01 and prod VM02 are running on the same ESXI host SAESXI01, which means that the traffic is never ever going to leave the ESXI host. So now let's do one thing. Let's open up the virtual machine console prod VM01 and let's check out the IP address of this virtual machine. And we do see that the IP address of this virtual machine is 172.20.10.203. Now let's go back to our vSphere client. Click on prod VM02. Click on OK. Let's find out the IP address of prod VM02. And we do see that the IP address of prod VM02 is 172.20.10.212. Now let's go and generate the traffic between prod VM01 and prod VM02. 02. So what we are going to do, we are logged into prod VM01 and we are going to generate the ping to prod VM02. I think that is the IP 212. Now press the enter key and we do see that we have successfully started ping traffic between prod VM01 and prod VM02 and both of these virtual machines are running on same ESXi host. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.